Molly Wood and welcome to the Buzz Report. And now for the Gadget of the Week. The Gadget of the Week is the Sony Reader. Come October, you'll be able to load up to 80 books on your $350 Sony Reader, carry them around, and read them in digital rendering that looks like real ink. I mean, some might argue that you could just buy the books and use your free hands to read the book in which the real ink actually is real ink. But seriously, where's the geekiness in that? We are forward-thinking technologists here, people. We embrace innovation. Here, who can I give my money to? And now for the news. Microsoft this week issued a rare out-of-cycle security patch to fix a major loophole in Internet Explorer. Microsoft pushed out the patch two weeks early after several porno sites were found to be infecting visitors with key logging software, adware, and trojans that could take over their PCs. Now, Microsoft almost never puts out patches ahead of their standard monthly release schedule, so that tells you how serious this problem really is. Meanwhile, an anonymous source inside Microsoft tells me that CEO Steve Ballmer's PC was recently infected with all kinds of key logging software, adware, and trojans. Related? You be the judge. French and Canadian researchers have made a scientific breakthrough using advanced infrared technology that will change the viewpoints of millions of people. The scientists carried out the most in-depth study ever conducted on the centuries-old Mona Lisa painting. Their discovery? Mona Lisa had recently given birth to a baby when the painting was made. Reached for comment, cancer researchers said, a little help over here? Could we maybe use that infrared thingy? Uh, a couple of your researchy guys? Kind of got a little epidemic here. Anything? Anybody? Call me. Facebook today opened up its social networking site to the masses. Previously, only college or high school students or businesses could join Facebook. But now anyone with a valid email address can join. And that's got some people very worried about their privacy and the community that they've come to love. To discuss this hot button issue with me, I went out and got the youngest person I could find to explain her concerns. Please welcome to the Buzz Report, everyone, Veronica Belmont. So, Veronica, I hear that Facebook is now open to the public. Can you give us some ideas about what the major concerns are? Well, you see, you used to only be able to get in if you had a .edu address. So that means that you could be there and your friends could see you, but basically your profile was protected. But now anyone can get in, like pornographers and, and perverts and, and spammers. And, and the kids just aren't ready for that. I mean, it's like the real world, and, and they're, they're just not ready. Well, couldn't they just hide their profiles? What? Well, I, I guess. I mean, you just don't get it. You're too old. I never get it. Well, I get it. Whatever. Uh, thanks for coming on the show, Veronica. I'm Molly Wood, and this has been Buzzport. Thanks for watching.